everyone! Last time, we discussed about translating verbal phrases to algebraic expressions or equations. Now, we will do the reverse. We will translate tra algebraic expressions or equations to verbal phrases. But before that, let's recall the words we use in each symbol. So, if uh, we talk about addition, we use the word sum, more than, plus, increased by, added to, total, and for subtraction, we have take away, diminished, less than, less, minus, subtracted from, or two, decreased by, difference. And for multiplication, we use the words times, multiplied, product, twice, thrice. For division, we have divided by, quotient, divided into. We also have for equal sign, there is the word is or will be. And for the exponent, you can have the square of or the cube of. So if I have here 20 plus 5, now translating this mathematical expression into words, it could be the sum of 20 and 5. But it could also be 20 increased by 5 or 5 more than or added to 20. So if it is more than or added to, meaning you need to switch the two numbers, then we also have the total of 20 and 5, or simply 20 plus 5. So in translating algebraic expressions or equations to verbal phrases, you can say it in many ways since the plus symbol or any other operations can be associated with different words. Let's have more examples. Let's translate expressions or equations to verbal phrases. So we have here x plus y. So same as our previous example, we can say the sum of x and y. We can also say x increased by y, the total of x and y. We have y more than or added to x, or simply x plus y. Next, we have a minus 4 is equal to 7. So to translate that into verbal phrases, we can say the difference between A and 4 is, because of the equal sign, 7. Or you can say a number subtracted by or deducted by or minus 4 is 7. We also have 4 less than a number is 7. So we have 4 here, then less than because of subtraction, a number which is 7. We also have a number decreased by 4 is 7. Next we have xy is equal to 15. So since there is no operation between the two variables here, that means it's multiplication. So we can say the product of x and y is 15. So this is means equals. Or you can also say x multiplied by y is 15. Another one, we have x times y is 50. So we have another example. 4x over 7 is equal to 50. So this over here in a fraction form, that means it's division. So we need to divide 4x to 7, and we should get 50. So our uh, translation to verbal phrases are, first, we have the quotient of 4x and 7 is 50. We can also say 4x divided by 7 is 50. Or the product of 4 and x because this is multiplication, 4 times x divided by 7 is 50. And lastly, we have, can say, 4 times x divided by 7 is 50. Next, we have 2c plus 3d. Now, in this case, 2 is multiplied by c, then added to 3 that is multiplied by d. So, we can say, first, we have 
twice C increased by thrice D. So 2 and 3 have special names in multiplication. So that's why we use twice C increased by thrice D. So if you don't want to use that, you can also say thrice D more than or added to twice C. So when we use more than or added to, that means we need to switch the two uh, numbers or the two groupings. Next, we have the sum of twice C and thrice D. Or, you can also say the product of 2 and C increased by the product of 3 and D. Next, we have x squared minus 4y is equal to 20. Translating this mathematical equation into words, it could be, okay, take note of the given equation. So we have the difference, because since it's subtraction, the difference between the square of x. So you can see here the exponent of 2, you can use this square. So the square of x and the product of 4 and y is 20. So this 4 and y it means it's multiplication. You multiply 4 to y, whatever is the value of the y. And remember again, this is the exponent. You can say if this is 2, then the square of x. Or you can also say the square of x subtracted by or decreased by the product of 4 and y is 20. And lastly, we have the product of 4 and y less than or subtracted to the square of x is 20. Next, we have 9ab minus 3. So this 9 here is being multiplied by a and b. So we can say the product of 9, a, and b subtracted by or decreased by 3. Or you can also say the difference between 9ab and 3. And we have, if you want to use less than or subtracted to, you may start with 3. So 3 less than the product of 9, a, and b. Next, we have open parenthesis C plus 5, close parenthesis then minus 6. Now, following the GEMDAS rule, we need to perform the parenthesis or inside the parenthesis first. So, we can say the sum of C and 5, okay, subtracted by or decreased by 6. Or... If you want to use uh, this 6 first, you can use less than. So 6 less than the sum of C and D. Therefore, you need to get the sum first and then you subtract it by 6. Or you can have 5 more than C. Okay, So you have 5 more than C deducted by 6. Next, we have x and there's exponent 2 minus y and there's exponent 2 and then equal is equal to 90. So we can write it in verbal phrases or we can say it as the square of x minus or decreased by or subtracted by the square of y. Since the exponent is 2, so we can use square instead of using to the second power this is another na a name for uh, the exponent 2 the square of then is 90. You can also say the difference between the square of x and the square of y is 90. Or if you want to use less than or subtracted 2 you can say the square of y less than the square of x is 90. Last one, we have an open parenthesis, x plus 2, close parenthesis, divided by 
10 is equal to 64. So you can say it as the sum of x and 2 divided by 10 is 64. So you need to perform first whatever is uh, in the numerator or the dividend. So we have x plus 2. So we need to get the sum of x and 2. Then we divide it to 10. That is equal to 64. You can also say the quotient of the sum of x and 2 divided by 10 is 64. So that's about translating expressions or equations to verbal phrases. I hope that you learned something from this video.